question that you might be very active. What about the people who say, I self-identify, but make no use of it? Are they not as well? I'm thinking of, um, say, people who, if you ask them say, oh, of course I'm a vegetarian, <coughs> but I make no use of it in, in a community. Yeah. I'm not involved in any community. And I think there are a lot of people like that. Do these yeah. surveys consider them not? Not, no. My sense is, if you consider those folks who say, I am unaffiliated with a specific organization, but I consider myself a devout Episcopalian, but I just don't, don't practice it, I think we'd be in the 30 and 40%. Uh, peripherals. Per peripherals is, you should be involved with the nomenclature for this, Bobby. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anything else? Any other comments on this secular but spiritual? Please. No, no, absolutely. It, no, absolutely. And it gets back to, I think, you know, one of the great uh, um, uh, distinctions that people like Joseph Campbell and Carl Jung made between what it is to be spiritual and religious. Religious is when you get hung up in one person's mythology, one person's building, or what have you, but the spiritual component is always there, whether it, whether it finds a cookie-cutter form or not. Um, so you're, I think you're right. I mean, some of this is semantics as well, and, and it's very newsworthy also to lay out that secular but spiritual. It sounds like a good sitcom title. Yes, please. That would describe my daughter to a T, secular, <laughs> but spiritual. She identifies as a secular Christian, but she doesn't have any faith in the Christian body. Interesting. We Jews have a, a, a wonderful penchant and ability to really... Um, um, traverse that, that boundary between what it is to be a practicing Jew and, and a Jew by culture, birth, ability to lack, understand Jackie Mason jokes. I mean, there's a cultural element to that. But that's waning a lot lately as well. The secular bit, oh yeah, one more, please. Absolutely. That's why in my, at KUOW interview, I much preferred to talk about transcendence than spirituality. There was actually, I don't want to digress too much, there was a study within the Jewish community that recently came out analyzing what Jewish spirituality means in particular. And what they discovered was that most Jews don't consider themselves spiritual, not because they don't have that, that spiritual impulse, but because they don't like the word spirituality because it seems too Christian. And we Jews haven't created a consensual language for spirituality and talking about God and relationship with God that is something that we all, uh, it's consensual, but also something that doesn't smack of Christian spirituality. And so Jews feel that sense, but they don't like to call it spirituality because that seems un-Jewish. Um, Piety, even better, yeah. Well, for us, piety is like Hasids selling diamonds in, in Brooklyn. I mean, that's the problem, is that the pious are the Hasids. You know, for us, piety is Has Hasidism. I mean, so we have, you know, words are loaded. There's no doubt about it. And that's why, especially using words like spirituality is just is, is so difficult. And I think people want something more than just an amorphous spirituality. They want something more than what the sociologist Christian Smith, I don't know if you saw this recently, he did a survey of teenage spirituality, but I think it certainly can encompass those of us who, those uh, uh, amongst all of us whose uh, uh, spiritual maturity hasn't gone much past adolescence, but something called a moral therapeutic deism. A moral therapeutic de deism which is basically a religious sense that, that encompasses five points, which are basically a caring God wants us to be good, feel good, do good, and go to heaven. That's it. He, Christian Smith says that most, popular te most teenagers in popular culture feel themselves religious, but have this very diluted sense 
God's good, God wants me to be good, and if I'm good, good things will happen. Um, I think that people who are spiritual and spiritually engaged, even at some level, want something much more than that. Let me read just a quick excerpt here that lays out um, what I believe to be typical or, or illustrative of the kind of people that we are reaching out to here, the unaffiliated. 